Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are back, kids. We are back in action. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. Um, last week, I, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I got sick on Wednesday, and it definitely felt like it was um, a, an illness surrounding all of this this energy that's been like bombarding the the planet you know through the, it, it was right literally right during the the transit of the um Lionsgate portal um it like it, it felt like it was all sh really like up in my third eye um on Wednesday when I was at the peak of it um when I would get up I would stand up and I would feel extremely dizzy um disoriented lightheaded I kind of felt like I was high, um, but I didn't like I didn't smoke any weed or anything like that. It was it was nuts. Um, but thank you so much for your patience and everything like that. And, and the days that I took after that were really awesome and needed. Um, I feel very refreshed uh, and ready to get back into it. Yeah. Um, so just a quick announcement. Um, this is going to be a pretty intense week. Ooh, week for me. Um, I, number one, I have to catch up from a lot of what uh, I missed last week while I was sick. But also, um, I can already tell you guys that there is going to be no morning coffee on Wednesday. I believe it is. Let me just let me just double check this. Yes, on Wednesday because I'm working with a production company now. Um, and I have some shifts between Tuesday and Thursday, but I have a night shift on Tuesday from like 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. And then I'm right back at it at like 9.30 a.m. on Wednesday. So I'm really, I'm not, I'm gonna, barely going to have time to get home and sleep. So I'm not really going to have time to do morning coffee. So no morning coffee on Wednesday. But that's the only, that's the only thing I know of for right now. Um, yeah. And so there's that. Okay. I believe that's it for now. So I just want to get into, I just want to get into it. So pre-shuffle energies, um, it was looking good at first and it still is kind of looking good. Not going to lie. Um, it, it started with the five of swords that came out and the five of swords is in reverse. All of this is in reverse. You have the two of swords in reverse. Then you also have the seven of pentacles in reverse and you also have the king of wands with his back turned and he's in reverse. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because I woke up this morning with this song in my head. It's called, um, hold on, it's called On My Mind, Georgia Smith and the Predator remix, I guess. Or no, it's not a remix, but it's Georgia Smith, J-O-R-J-A Smith and Predator, P-R-E-D-I-T-A-H. -E and it talks about how, um, you know, I finally found what went wrong. I finally found what went wrong. I finally found the wrong in you. And I, and I woke up this morning. And that, see, it's funny because a lot, me and a lot of my friends know that song. And we love that song, right? Um, it comes on at work a lot of uh, every so often if we play the right playlist. And it's funny because I was at work yesterday, and I had finished my shift. I worked brunch yesterday. And I finished my shift and I was hanging out at the bar waiting to order some dinner. And that song came on and literally all of us were sitting there singing it. Was, <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but anyway, so that was in my head when I woke up this morning. I was like, huh, that's weird. I wonder why. But I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, well, that makes, it kind of makes sense a little bit. Because I had a little bit of a relapse yesterday of a situation that was really, really traumatic. Of course, it was like the twin flame thing, but like, whatever, we're not gonna get into that. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I guess that makes sense. But then the cards started to come out and the five of swords, two of swords, seven of pentacles, all in reverse. You know, there was no, someone is not fighting any longer. Someone has learned the lesson, okay? Um, and it's interesting, what's coming through specifically with the Seven of Pentacles energy is a specific not going to go down that road again, not going to do that again. Um, having learned the lessons, but instead of trying to like fix something or instead of trying to 
improve the harvest it's literally a rejection of that harvest altogether it's a rejection of what was planted there altogether um which i can't really tell I, i'm not I, I can't tell to be honest because this is a general reading please keep in mind this is a general reading um but also it's not my place to say whether that's a good or a bad thing and to be quite honest it's neither good nor bad it's just your choice and that's a-okay, all right? Um, so with this King of Wands energy, ooh, what's on the other side of this? I just thought of that. Hold on a second. Oh, right, it's the Nine of Wands. It's the Nine of Wands is on the other side. Um, now with this King of Wands energy here, this could either be your energy, how you're feeling about it, so not willing to go after this any longer, not choosing to be a part of this any longer, um, there's no passion in it. You don't want to take any action here any longer. And I'm feeling like that is, you know, this is mostly for the feminines, I guess, I guess. Um, but I'm feeling specifically as I'm saying that this is, there are certain feminine energies here that are not taking any action any longer from this King of Wands energy. I, you can't really see it. It gets kind of dark. Oh, wait, I should turn this light on. Um, but... That is the king of wands. But also, this is a rejection of a type of individual. Um, so this would be a rejection of narcissistic energy is basically how I want to say it. Even though we use that word all the time, that's the easiest way of saying it. There's a rejection here of narcissistic energy, of narcissistic individuals, of people that are just trying to use you, trying to get what they need or want out of you just to disappear on you, you know, over again. And with this five of swords, two of swords energy here, there has been a fight, there has been a struggle. Now, this could even be you, if you're a masculine energy, this could even be you releasing some sort of tendencies. Okay, this doesn't, this isn't just for, you know, feminines or women that are, are, are turning away narcissistic masculine energy. This could be masculine energies that are turning their backs on this way of being, on this, this, this form of express, expression, okay? Either way, there was an indecisiveness for a while. There was an inability to make a decision to, to, to choose to go in a new direction, and it was self-defeating with the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords, but that is being rejected. Also, with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's like it, it's almost a, a mini Ten of Pentacles energy in the sense of a lesson has been learned. And I'm hearing we're not going to do that again. We're not going down that road again. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay. All right. There was your priest shuffle. So... Yeah. That's a good thing, you guys. That's a really good thing. The sun just wanted to show itself. Um... You might be feeling a little bit trapped right now because it was the side of the sun card that was showing like the sun had been is setting and you know the the child and the horse are behind walls here seven of swords um you might be feeling a little bit trapped right now but also this you know confined maybe um you might be hiding protecting yourself also from some sort of deception Seven of Swords just popped out. So Seven of Swords, actually, to be quite honest, in my opinion, and for what I've been doing, like the, the channelings I've been doing lately, the Seven of Swords has been talking about detachment. Um, but I actually don't want to, I don't want to really dive much deeper into that because I feel like there's a lot behind that Seven of Swords. We don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that right now because um, I want to continue with the rest of the reading, but... We'll see. It might, it might come out later. All right. Here we go, guys. Oh, right. Spirit just reminded me. Um, when I was channeling before, not before, but like before I started the, 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 the recording, the, the reading here, before I started the video, I was seeing green and purple. So there's definitely an energy for some of you of wisdom, understanding, understanding your heart better, understanding what it is you want, um, understanding the lessons that are helping you cleanse and heal your heart. Okay, that's, that's excellent. All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. 
please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, August 12th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles. Um, but yeah, that purple energy is, is back. Um, so wisdom, definitely wisdom. We're gonna be talking about, I guess, what it is you guys have learned here. What has been learned? What has been assimilated? What is being let go of in service of a greater, re a better, sorry, a better reality for yourself too. Excellent. Three, ooh, 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 three, four, and five. For today, August 12th, 2019. All right, kids, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit, for the collective. For the collective. For Monday, August 12th. My eyes are closed, so I can't see what's going on right now. But I will in a second. Monday, August 12th. And I'm seeing yellow now, too. Clarity, understanding, communication. Okay. We have the Three of Wands here. On the other side of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords, and it is in reverse. I literally feel like somebody is picking themselves up, picking up the pieces. And there's definitely an energy, because in the Three of Wands here, I believe this is, in this deck, this is the Emperor. All right, so at least this is the figure of the Emperor that's depicted in the Emperor card. Um, and to me, this, I really feel a strong sense of someone has taken their power back. Someone has taken their own authority back to the, towards, uh, uh, in terms of their own life. And, um, it's moving, it's moving the fuck on. <laughs> the 10 of swords in reverse here is really just, it's strongly, strongly releasing the past, the pain, the hurt, and, and just moving forward. Um, Okay, you do have the King of Pentacles here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, Strength and Justice. Not Justice, excuse me, Judgment. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's strange because what I'm getting with this, <laughs> with this King of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, there's an energy of, um, I don't know why, but the first thing I'm, I'm seeing here is no longer being single. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's really interesting. That's, that's literally like the, 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 the only thing I'm getting from that. That's weird. Um, <clears throat> We do have the Page of Swords in reverse, which is, yeah. Um, the Page of Swords in reverse is an energy of not needing to seek any longer, not needing to understand anymore, not needing to try to figure anything out anymore, not trying to find any more um, information. Someone is very much grounded rooted stable and safe king of pentacles and this is an energy of feeling very sure of yourself all right very sure of yourself I, I don't know why i don't know why i'm getting this energy of feeling like someone someone feels like either maybe maybe this is a release of some sort of bachelor energy bachelorette energy um, I just feel a strong sense of someone is no longer single, and yet I don't really see any other cards here that would speak to any sort of relationship having been established or something like that. 
but it almost feels like this person, this King of Pentacles is saying, I don't have to look anymore. I don't have to search anymore. Maybe I've I, I found it. That's interesting. Okay. It does feel like it's in alignment here with the Three of Wands, also with strength and judgment. All right. Now, um, this are, these are pretty strong sides of the card. Okay. First, with strength here, you're, it's the side of the card where you're facing the devil. Right. So having to uh, keep up the faith. Okay. Um, in, to a certain extent, but it's also standing up to fear, you know, keeping your integrity or, or staying rooted or grounded in what it is you know is right for you. Um, and then also you have judgment in which the angels have appeared, the angel has appeared in front of you, you know, it's almost as if your time is here. And yet there's some fear involved. But I, what I want to say in terms of this is uh, maintain your integrity. I mean, you're very strong and rooted and grounded in who you know you are. Okay, this could have this the King of Pentacles could be financial independence, um, it could be financial security, but it or or it could just be a well manifested individual, someone who's very grounded, very self aware, you know, and is kind of knows what they want in life. So, okay, okay, here we go. In terms of maybe some masculine energies that are releasing some sort of King of Wands energy yes um maybe some sort of narcissism I hear, i'm hearing chauvinism um extreme selfishness if you want to say it that way you're trading that for stability groundedness um practicality also what's really needed in this world versus what we have an excess of that's an interesting concept that's an interesting way of seeing it um and there could be there could be an, a situation in which for you specifically keep in mind this is a general reading but there could be it could be an energy of no longer wanting to be a bachelor nine of pentacles in reverse now also the nine of pentacles in reverse can speak to blockages in abundance um lack of self uh, lack of faith um but that just doesn't it doesn't quite make sense here you know what i mean just with how the rest of the energies are flowing. I do think once we start clarifying that I might want to clarify that specifically. Now, I just heard a re I'm looking down at judgment with the with the strength card here. And I am. I, I just heard a relationship is on the horizon. Now that could be that could come with quite a few challenges with strength here. There could be. It could be aware. You could be aware of this. You could be the King of Pentacles energy, and you could be aware of this. And I do feel like it's very much in alignment with you because of this Three of Wands energy. It's in alignment with both of you. Um, if this is what's resonating for you. But there are distances. There's travel involved, I feel like, for some of for, for someone. Um, or there's just logistics or um, details that would need to be sorted out. Okay? But I guess this is where faith is coming. It, it, even though we don't have the star here, it might come out in the, in the, in the um, clarification, but we don't have the star here right now. But... Um, there is a there is a, a need to keep the faith and that's kind of what I'm getting with the strength card with you know facing the devil here because the devil to me is representing some sort of fear in terms or maybe even apprehension is what I just heard also in terms of what is coming through with judgment here this calling this doesn't have to be a, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship this could be anything for you I just feel like there's some sort of calling here that's that's happening, that's coming forward, that someone is becoming aware of, that is very much in alignment with who, what they have been asking for, wishing for, praying for here with the Three of Wands. Also, the Three of Wands can represent travel. It absolutely can represent travel. Um, something that somebody has been praying for, 
is coming through. It is divinely guided with judgment here. It could be a relationship, but it doesn't have to be, all right? Um, it's something that, you, that someone has really been praying for or whatnot that I really feel like you're ready for, King of Pentacles. Not going to lie. But there's no, need, there's no more of a need to search, to seek, to find, because it's been found. It's here. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to get into the clarification section first. Uh, uh, next. Um, what's first? All right. I'm using two new decks here. This one is a tarot deck. It's called the Dreaming Way Tarot, I believe. Um, it's, it's a gorgeous deck. This is, I'm using two decks that a friend of mine gave me, a very dear friend of mine gave me, that I mentioned um, in my post last week. I started, I, I was really drawn to this one. Um, and, then I'm, and, and then I'm also going to be using the Gilded Reverie Lenormand deck. This is another deck that, they, that someone gave me, that my friend gave me. Um, now, I did, <laughs> I did a reading for myself just to get acquainted with the cards, and I used these two decks, and I was shook, you guys. Like, I was shook, <laughs> just the way things were coming out. Um, and so that convinced me to really use them for the readings here. Now, with the Lenormand deck, this is brand, brand new to me, so I'm probably most likely going to be using the book just to understand things a little deeper. And then, of course, we'll get Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala. But we're going to start with clarifying with the Tarot here. And to be quite honest, what I want to clarify the most is this Nine of Pentacles energy. Because everything else feels like it makes good enough sense. And we'll get some clarification for that too. But I really want to clarify the Nine of Pentacles the most, which is in reverse. It doesn't feel like it's a bad thing. Even though nine of pentacles in reverse, it could mean it could mean there's some sort of blockage in abundance of some sort. That is something that I, I feel like could be here for you. It just doesn't feel like that's it, it. It feels more of like the bachelor or bachelorette status. It's mostly from and this really could just be this really could just be a choice that has been made from a from the from the masculine point of view from from those of you who are more masculinely oriented or if you are just working more with your masculine energy your inner masculine energy there could have been a choice that was made in terms of no longer wanting to be a bachelor that's pretty cool <laughs> all right i'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll clarify ooh Okay, we're ready. This deck is um, a little hard to shuffle because it's pretty um, tough. Well, not tough. What's the word I'm looking for? Rigid. It's a little rigid. Okay. Here we go, guys. So let's get to clarification. We're going to start with this Nine of Pentacles here. Just a clarification, please, Spirit. What is this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, es eso. King of Swords. The Magician, King of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Magician. Underneath the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. <laughs> this really isn't, I, I, this is interesting. Okay, this isn't quite clearing it up for me here, but let's see what we get. King of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Magician. Okay, there's definitely a choice that's been made. I feel like there's something that's being, either there's something that's being released or... Mm, it's not necessarily being released. What I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles here is someone is holding on to their money. Again, I'm hearing bachelor or bachelorette status. I'm getting, with the four of pentacles energy, I'm literally getting an energy of someone deciding to start stockpiling their pentacles so that they can start building for a family. 
It's literally, literally what I'm getting here. King of Swords, Seven of Wands. I, I, I do feel like with the King of Swords energy here, someone is being very, okay, stable and grounded, sure. Um, solid in their way of thinking. Um, they've made a decision here and they're not going back on it. Seven of Wands is, I've made my decision with the King of Swords. The, being objective about it, but also not allowing yourself to be swayed outside of whatever it is the decision that you've made and there is a ma the magician energy here which is manifesting what you truly desire i keep i keep hearing bachelor i'm actually i'm hearing specifically bachelorette status so this could be for some feminines out there that are making this decision that are finally like grounding themselves and saying look no that's it i'm done I've made my decision, I'm moving forward, I'm manifesting what it is that I truly desire, and you're not gonna change my mind. Seven of Wands, you're not changing my mind. Four of Pentacles, done. May, uh, talk about stubborn. <laughs> Almost miserly, all right, I get that, but okay. And honestly, this decision that has been made was made Practically speaking, it was made from an objective point of view. It's not made from an emotional point of view. And right, and I'm hearing that song again in my head. So, okay, there it is. There, so, so what we were talking about in the beginning, this is what you're moving forward from. What In the pre-shuffle energy, that's represented here by the Ten of Swords in reverse. Done. Over. Moving on. Moving on to the next situation. Whoa. Moving on to the next situation. <laughs> really? I'm not going to take any of that. I'm not going to take any of that. I'm not, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. But the Ten of Swords is in reverse there, okay? You did have the... Oh, shit. The Fool, the Empress. Yeah, there's the Five of Swords again with it. All right, but I'm not taking any of that. We're going to move on. <laughs> All right, but... Um, yeah. So there's something new going on here. This Nine of Pentacles energy really could just be, some of you may have been hold, holding yourself open, holding space for someone, for them to come in to your life, should they choose to. But see, they would have had to choose to, and I guess they didn't. Or now you've gotten to the point where you're, not give, you're making the choice for them, you're moving on. All right. Okay, so then, all right, let's talk about this here. Page of Swords in reverse, King of Pentacles, upright, strength, and judge, judgment, upright. Let's get a little clarity on that then. Please, spirit. Just some clarity here, please, spirit. The moon, the Page of Cups, okay. Moon in the Page of Cups. With justice. Interesting. All right. It's funny because when I said, when I spoke of judgment here the first time, um, I said justice, but I meant to say judgment. But here we have justice now. And we have the moon with the Page of Cups. So there's something, there's new emotion coming through here. Page of Cups. This could, right. And we were talking about, um, this could potentially be a relationship. Now, this is the only thing, this is the first and only card that has come out in terms of speaking to, you know, a specific relationship, but it doesn't have to be. This could be a new emotional reality. This could be um, you trying to get to know somebody, you uh, uh, starting over, starting anew, okay? It, um, the moon is also speaking to emotions, just like the Page of Cups. Um, but also what I'm getting from this is a new cycle, okay? So things aren't quite clear yet. There could be a situation in which someone is re starting to want to try to reveal their feelings for you, or maybe that's you wanting to reveal your feelings for someone else, but it still feels very, very new, very fresh, very new, all right? But then in just with justice here, this is... Again, I'm hearing this is alignment. This is an alignment with who you are or the, or the direction you're moving in. But also, it's bringing greater justice into your life. It's bringing justice to your situation. And I'm picking up specifically that it's because you've made this choice to cut out whatever it is you've been putzing around with, 
before that wasn't necessarily working for you, that wasn't in alignment with you or was no longer in alignment with you, was no longer um, aligned with your greatest, your, your higher good, your greatest good, but you kept holding on to it, but now that's been cut away. And now justice is able to really be served here in your life with some sort of new cycle or some sort of new emotional reality. You also could be dealing with a Piscean between the moon and the Page of Cups. Also, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. The moon card is really just giving me a sense of a brand new cycle is starting. And so it's not quite clear. You can't quite see what's going on here. So in terms of getting some greater clarity there, now I'm going to turn to this Lenormand deck here. Ooh. And I want to ask specifically, what is this new cycle? Also, ooh, okay, what could potentially be revealed here? I really do feel like this could potentially be someone wanting to reveal some sort of feelings or at least to get at least get to know somebody better. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> the maze, the maze keeps coming out. Has been coming out for me personally. Oh shit. I told you. Look, roses. Wow. Underneath the deck is fish. Fishy, fishy. All right, so the maze, um, it's funny because when I've been, I've been working with this deck on my own just to, just to do some readings for myself, but also to get into some sort of understanding of what some of the cards might be, get to know the deck a little bit, the maze keeps coming out for me. Um, and the maze talks about, you know, you might have to, it, it talks about trial and error. It talks about, um, you know, making mistakes and potentially having to start over from square one but even if you are starting over from square one you're not completely starting over because you're you're taking what you basically what you learned in that last round to to do better in the next round right it's also because there are other people here so we also could talk about how you know you could work together with people to get you know, to some sort of common goal or about how um, specifically there could be other people in this maze with you that are in the same position, like you're really not alone here, all right? Um, it also <laughs> it also speaks to the the convoluted ways that we are trying to find each other. And then we have wrote this, oh my God, we, these aren't roses, actually, these are tulips specifically. But these are flowers, right? These are, that's, those aren't roses. Are they roses? They look like tulips. But they're flowers. And that, to me, is talking about there's some sort of emotion. There's a gift that's coming that someone wants to give. I do believe it could most, like, most likely be from a masculine energy, king of pentacles. And you don't have to be financially stable or financially grounded or whatnot or financially in good a place to be represented by the King of Pentacles. Uh, what I'm getting here, and now it could be, that could be you, or you also could be on your way towards that, working your way up towards it. But what it feels like, this King of Pentacles energy feels like someone that is very well manifested, like knows themselves, knows themselves very well, has been through a lot of stuff on their path, has gotten over a lot of things, has healed from a lot of things, has really found who they truly are. And it feels like this individual is building their life from that point of view now, of who they know themselves to be at this moment in time. That could mean that it looks like their whole life is changing, but it's because they're making a change, a conscious change, an effort to make a conscious change for the better. All right, I do want to read card number nine here. See what this says. Flowers, beauty and a happy face is what I bring. I am the gift that warms your heart. I am your recovery and your well-being. No matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. What is it like when someone gives you a gift? This card is the fragrant smell of joy and happiness, a show of appreciation that could be on its way. The image here is a bouquet of pink. These are tulips. Yes, these, the image here is a, pink of, uh, is a bouquet of pink tulips. Speaks the language of flowers. 
In the Victorian era, flowers were used as a medium of communication. They became the code of lovers, a perfect way to covertly express love, passion, and appreciation. Yeah. Long before the Victorian period, the highly valued tulip was considered to be so desirable, it induced a phenomenon known as tulip mania. Thus, the presence of this card uh, signifies a, va a valuable gift that is to be given or received. That the label here contains the name of the deck is a nod to earlier decks that often had the publisher's stamp embossed on one of the cards. That's cool. All right. So then now 34 fish. I do want to speak to that too. Now already this could be financially. This could be some sort of financial windfall. Um, because yes, fish do the fish do represent abundance of some way. And I do feel like some of you, this could be a new financial start. This could, that cycle could be starting here. Um, financial abundance that could lead to greater happiness. Maybe you're still, you're started a new cre career, um, something like that. Okay. But let's see. I bring plenty with abundance. This is fish. I deal with commerce and sales. I advocate independence and promote self radiance and trade water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to tip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. The fish of the Lenormand symbolize resources and money. The three fish here in the blue depths show that we can dive deep to gather in food and abundance. So in some traditions, the card also symbolizes wealth. Where this card appears, it teaches us to make the most of the resources that we possess. In modern, uh, in modern parlance, it means speculate to accumulate or making a little go a long way. The exact meaning is independent on the cards around it. Okay. And I guess just for the sake of everyone, I'm going to read Maze as well, even though... Where is it? There he is. 43. I'm sorry, Labyrinth. When you think you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and you have to start again. I am the labyrinth that keeps you going through trial and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friend. This card is about making your way through the confusion st confusing stream of events, often by trial and error. You may have goals and destinations you wish to reach, but getting there may prove difficult, that more difficult than you expected. Your road, your road isn't direct, a direct one, but it has twists and turns. No matter how much you plan and strategize, at some point you will face inevitable mistakes. Be prepared for a few false turns and dead ends. The Labyrinth card directs you to retrace your steps if necessary and take a different route. Sometimes there is simply no direct path. Okay. Well, that's good. So then what I am going to do here... Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to see what they have to, what the Lenormand has to say about this Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. All right, let's see. Just for shits and giggles, because I'm curious. I'm just curious here. I mean, we are at almost 40 minutes, but I'm just curious. What does the Lenormand have to say? Whoa. All right. Oh, fish in reverse. Wow. Let's get one more here. One more, please. Loyalty. Aw, oh, the puppy. With the snake underneath that. Well, lack of abundance, yes. Yeah, this to me is just a rejection of... This is a rejection... I was holding this. This is the snake here. This is a rejection of some sort of... Bachelor, bachelorette, narcissistic, snake, uh, extremely selfish energy. Given it's you're you're and you're giving that up for the sake of loyalty. Eighteen, the puppy. Oh my god, this dog is so cute. Um, yeah, the dog. Loyalty and friendship is what I stand for. I am protection and trust, support and reliance. When negative cards are around, make sure to take a closer look. I could be your counselor, your pet, or your best friend. Um, 
And then look here, underneath the deck is Snake. But again, I feel like this is an energy that is being released. Snake says, watch out for me because I am always hiding. You can never trust or believe me. I am, chant I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have your dreading. Um, will have you dreading. Look, someone is giving this up. Someone is giving up some sort of flighty nature, some sort of... I almost, I'm, especially with fish here, I'm giving, I'm, I'm getting some sort of maybe promiscuous nature for loyalty. I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. Okay, guys, so let's close this out. Let's close this out with a oracle guidance here. It's like someone, yeah, that song is in my head again. The song that I mentioned in the beginning of the reading. Um, it's as if someone has re recognized that they don't want to be alone forever. Or they don't want to be on their own anymore. They want they want to start like maybe involving other people in their life in some way. This doesn't necessarily just have to be romantically involved. Um, this could just be someone opening up to a family, a community of some sorts. All right. So here we have card number 40. Uh, Goddess Sarasvati and Ammonite from word to world. Please give me a second, guys. My nose is like freaking out all of a sudden. Mm. Okay, um, here we go. From word to world, card number 40. We bring you the empowerment of from word to world. What you speak of with intention, you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience speak of with joy and i do feel like i mean me personally for the longest time excuse me guys for like weeks now i've been going through some sort of throat chakra cleansing that has been coming through in the form of like extreme neck and back pain um i also feel like it was connected to this being sick last week um but yeah, I do feel like, you know, there is an opportunity to really change, to get what it is you truly want. And I feel like someone here has really decided on that. And it, it, it's the fact that you decided on having what it is that you truly desire. For some of you, this is a relationship. I can feel it. But um, you've decided that you wanted it and you've been, you've stabilized and grounded yourself to a position where you can now manifest it. Where is the magician? Where is the magician? Here. Okay. That's beautiful, guys. It's really, really beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I, I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Mwah. Bye.